If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? Some people drag me on my comment section and, and say, Maria, you only post bad things about relationship. You do not post good things. There are healthy relationships out there. Why is it that all you do is post negative, 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 negative things? And my, I think my response was like, I only post what I see. And most of the things that are trending are the negative ones. And those are the things that come from my For You page. But luckily for me, or luckily for you asking this question, or a lot of people that want to see healthy relationship, I found one video. So let's go ahead and watch the full video. You know, she was asking a question about healthy relationship. Let me roll the first clip for you all to watch. Then I'll come back and talk about it. If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? I'm stuck in the algorithm on TikTok where it's just a bunch of horror stories from women and men with bad behavior. And many of my relationships reflect that dynamic too. But I believe in love and I want love still. And I know I'm not alone. I know how important it is when you're trying to attract something new into your life to find examples of other people who have that thing. And so this is my attempt to find examples and to get some healing. And I think it would be healing for a lot of other women too, who are still looking for love in spite of all that they've been through. So anything that you're comfortable sharing would be great from how you met to what you love about them, to what the dynamic of your relationship is like, what they do for you, what you do together. If you've ever had a big argument and how you've gotten through it, like anything that you wanna share. And if you think your story is too boring to share, you're probably exactly who we need to be here from just stitch this video tag me in it and um, I'll be sure to repost it on my page too hey beautiful people and welcome back again to my YouTube channel it's your girl Maria Davis and I'm back again with another interesting video so you all I know when we talk about when we see all this negative you know relationship online and every time we comment we always say not all men not all men so maybe we have found the women that are in a relationship with the ones that are not raggedy they're not dusty maybe finally we found them i don't know <laughs> anyways i put together some stitches for you all to enjoy women sharing their healthy relationship and for you that don't want to give up on love you still want to date you know you still want to date a man Maybe this is going to give you like a hope or something. There were a lot of stitches on this particular video. A lot of women coming to talk about their healthy relationship. I just pick few and their username on each stitch should be in the description box. <laughs> so let's go ahead and watch the stitch together. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. And I will see you at the end. If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? Hey Brittany, I'm Christina. Um, I saw your video and I just wanted to stitch it um, at your request. Um, I'm in a very healthy relationship with my husband, John. Um, we're both on our second marriage. Uh, we met and we have a blended family, which I know a lot of people struggle with and we did in the beginning, um, but we truly are a team. I would say one of the most successful things that we do in our relationship is um, we are both Christians and our relationship is founded on God. Whenever you build your life like that, it really defines how you treat your partner we're both extremely selfless we both really try to see the best in each other and we both try to honor um, you know our values and our religion and our faith and our marriage every single day um, John is also my very best friend I could do just about anything with him um, we have a lot of common interests and we're also not afraid to try things that the other one enjoys so we go hiking together we go shopping together he went to the ballet with me for Christmas because that was something I really wanted to do um, we just really like to do things together and we enjoy each other's company so finding someone that you just really want to hang out with all the time um, is a great way to have a successful relationship and have a really great partner I would also say that we're a great team um, there are things that I hate to do around the house and my husband knows that and so those are things that he does like I really hate doing the dishes I just don't like to do it and this man does the dishes religiously just because he knows I don't want to do that uh, John doesn't really like to do laundry so I make sure that I do the majority of the laundry but when I'm falling short he's always willing to jump in um, he's also a great father to our six children um, he's just amazing and I love everything about our relationship 
when we have rough patches, which is totally bound to happen, one of the most important things that uh, we do is that we always talk through things. Like we communicate about everything. If something's bothering me, he asks me about it. He notices right away. He's very in tune to my emotions, my personality when things are changing. And he always will come and check in with me. And he doesn't let me take the easy route out by saying, no, nothing's wrong. He's always like, listen, we just need to talk about it. Um, so that's something we really do. We both share when things are bothering us or when we're struggling and we communicate very openly about it. And that's been very successful for us. Um, so I would say that's another key characteristic. Find someone that you can talk to about anything, uh, someone that you trust. We both trust each other deeply. Someone that is a great partner and then someone that you just really enjoy doing things with. My husband's an amazing man and I wouldn't trade him for anybody else in the world. Yes, we both have our faults and our characteristics. You know that in quirks that can drive each other crazy but I think we truly are a really good match and um, that's made us have a successful relationship good luck in finding yours I hope you find your person um, I'm sure they are out there um, just make sure that you're really mindful and that you don't settle and that you find someone that matches up with your values your beliefs and the things that are important to you because that will go a long way Merry Christmas if you're in a healthy relationship with a man can you stitch this video and talk about it Woo. So, y'all know I don't usually talk about my relationship. It's very private to me and it's very healthy for me, but I understand that there are people who are trying to find images of black love to help see the positivity of black love, which is part of the reason why I use this platform to talk about black love romance novels, because I believe it exists and because I actually live it. I have been married for 10 years and I've been with the same man for 14 we have a very healthy relationship. Before we were married, we went through premarital counseling. After we were married, we went through postmarital counseling. While we have had ups and downs like anybody else, because we grew up together. We were in our early 20s when we were dating, and now we're in our mid to late 30s. So there's a lot of growth that has come along with that. So it bothers my heart when I see black men get on some of these podcasts and bash black women and try to give relationship re advice. And most of these men are in unhealthy relationships, have many broken homes. And when I say broken homes, I mean they have multiple baby mamas living in different areas. Their kids are not growing up underneath the same roof as their significant other. Yet they bash relationships, especially black love relationships. I don't have experience with that. I have a very healthy relationship. My children see healthy black love between a mother and a father, a husband and a wife, because we genuinely do the work and have been doing the work since before they were born. If I had one recommendation to anyone seeking out black love, it would be stop listening to these podcasts, work on your inner self, and be open to what love can offer because real love actually does exist. A healthy relationship does exist. And these people that are on these podcasts talking about relationships are really broken and can't speak from what real black love is actually about, which involves trusting, vulnerability, honesty, self-awareness, and communication and privacy which is why I don't post my husband or my kids. It's very rare if you will see them pop on my timeline, but that's a safe space for me. And I keep it at that. Protect your families, protect your love, protect your heart. If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? I was an over giver and an under receiver in all of my previous relationships. I was codependent basically. And that is the biggest difference I see in my previous unhealthy relationships versus my healthy relationship. I'm with someone who truly matches my energy. When I met my ex, I wrote poetry and I often did poetry readings around town. I even published two poetry books and would travel to have poetry readings. And at some point he stopped coming to them with me. I asked him, why don't you come to my poetry readings anymore? And he said to me at that time, I never thought you'd keep doing them. Never thought that I would keep doing the thing that I love doing. So you're just gonna stop supporting me? My husband now, on the other hand, is my biggest fan. 
He shows up for everything. He tells me he would never miss it. I do a lot of social media content and he watches it all across multiple platforms because that man is proud of me. I give, he gives, it's just an endless cycle of giving and it feels so great. If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? I'm stuck in the algorithm. So I have been with my husband for five years. We've been married for two years. And one story about him, this actually happened recently. We were, we went to a store to get some stuff to make dinner and I wanted some sandwich oil, a specific kind of sandwich oil. And it said they had it at the store. We go there, they don't have it. I'm like getting frustrated. Why is the universe out to get me? He says, let's go to another store and see if they have it. We go to a second store. They do not have it. I'm on the edge. I'm not having a good time. I'm hungry. He says, I will take you home and I will go to a third store and look for your sandwich oil. And he drops me off at home. I start making dinner. He goes to a third store. They don't have the specific brand, but they have a submarine sandwich oil. He buys it. He brings it home. I whip up our sandwiches. We eat delicious chopped sandwiches. And it's nice. It's really nice. If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? I'm in the healthiest relationship I've ever been in and I also really enjoy the relationship that I'm in and I I say that because the last relationship that I was in was very healthy but I also didn't feel very engaged in that and it's it's difficult to find that that balance because I feel that sometimes um, we think that if it's healthy, it's it's boring, and that is true sometimes. Um, but I do feel like for me, it was very important to allow myself to be in the previous relationship that that I knew was very safe. I knew wasn't toxic whatsoever. I communicated with him exactly how I felt, and just allowed myself to receive this kind of love and care. And it was really important for me to take time to adjust and feel what it felt like to not be in a toxic situation because that's just what I was used to and um, when I met my current partner I knew myself so well and took all the lessons from previous relationships and really made sure that I was um, holding on to a lot of boundaries that helped me a lot in the beginning I had um, a few a few rules if you want me to go into that i will let you know that as well um but yeah from the get-go i knew how he felt i knew his intentions and we are we are just silly big kids together every day and it's the best there he's a really special person and i'm and i feel like i could be myself around him and uh I think that we don't hear about these types of relationships because people that are a lot of times in happy and healthy relationships don't need to talk about it. So I appreciate the chance to, to share. If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? I'm stuck in the algorithm. Hi, we do exist. So I've been married for going on five years in about two weeks. And I can honestly say, I am truly happy and I have married my soulmate. We both work full time, we both contribute to the household. There's no traditional like gender roles. If he sees a chore that needs to be done, he takes the initiative to do it. If he sees that I am burnt out, he takes the initiative to handle whatever needs to be handled. I literally don't have to worry about my kids because he's just as capable as I am. We check in and make sure each other's love tank is filled up. I don't have to worry about cheating him cheating on me him abusing me him disrespecting me like we are truly equally yoked i grin and i play, prayed for this man since i was in the second grade so shout out to god for hearing me but i can truly honestly say i married the love of my life if you're in a healthy relationship with a man can you stitch this video and talk about it i'm stuck in the algorithm so i am in a healthy relationship with my partner of two years now and we met while well, we were both injured in the military. I'm no longer in the military, but he is. Distance is hard, yes, but 
he's so thoughtful and he's kind and understanding. And it's weird when you're not, you know, used to that attention, but he makes an effort. I'm going to see him very soon. I'm very excited. Um, but love exists. I honestly was about to give up after my last relationship with the, with a man. But I took a chance. I talked to him and I don't regret it. I honestly wish I would have found him sooner, but... He's done a lot for me, and he will continue to do that for me. Oh, my time has come. I've been happily married to my husband for 10 years, and I'm not kidding when I say that he makes me incandescently happy every single day. When I was younger, I was in a lot of toxic relationships because I genuinely believe that in order to be in a relationship with a man, you had to put up with a certain amount of bad behavior, and that involved a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, just a lot of negative vibes all the time. Then I met my husband, and one of the things that really shocked me when we first started date dating is that, yes, you can all have all that passion and all that deep, genuine love for another person, but you can be with a man and it can just be nice. And being with him is still nice. And again, the love is there, the deep passion and commitment, but I also text him funny TikToks I found, or if he has any good news or something funny pops up in his day, he texts me. We tell each other everything. Um, we talk about our days. We enjoy cooking together. We enjoy hiking together with the dog. Like, he's just my favorite person. I think we're sold the idea when we're younger that in order for a relationship with a man to be passionate, it has to be like knock down, drag out fights every weekend, fighting for each other, all of this, you know, emotional turmoil. Like that's what, you know, a lot of media shows romance to be. But I didn't know that romance could also mean contentment. I'm just content. In my relationship, being married to him is easy. It's fun and it's easy and I genuinely enjoy it. So I guess in conclusion, a lot of what's being shown on TikTok or what's sort of in the zeitgeist right now is men behaving badly, especially in heterosexual relationships and not treating their partners right. So while I think it's important that that is being discussed. Love is not dead. <laughs> there are awesome men out there and there is so much love and contentment waiting there out there for you. If you're still here, thank you for sticking around to this point. I hope you're enjoying this video or you enjoyed the stitches. Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. You all, <laughs> this video is for people that want positive relationship that you've been, you want to really date and go into this relationship space and you're thinking of, you already want to give up on love and everything. This is for you. And I remember one video that I posted about healthy marriage as well. And people ask the question that if you're in a healthy marriage, kindly put it down in the comment section let us know if you are happily married or you're not and a lot of people were you know saying oh i'm happy i'm happy i've been married for so so years and i'm happy okay blah 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 yeah things happen but i'm still happy and my relationship is still healthy which is nice so seeing this one as well you know people in a relationship some are married and all of that shows that for people that don't want to give up on love for people that want to still be in a relationship with a man maybe you should just save this video and share it to whoever you think still needs to want to find love this is the best video to share to them and to be honest there were a lot of stitches on this video a lot of long long videos like people are just talking like about their 
relationship their man what he's doing blah 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 the things that he did the things that he has done they keep saying good good things and there were so much i just had to pick few of them to share with you all okay anyways <laughs> if you're in an healthy relationship you're in a healthy relationship and you're watching this video let us know down in the comment section what do you like about your partner what did you do how do you resolve your issue and all of that to give people that still have hope in this relationship i know not everybody that watch my channel wants to date i know but there's some people that still have that maybe maybe i'm gonna find love someday maybe so if you're at the maybe maybe then this video is for you okay and if you're in a relationship can you put that in the comment section what about your partner and everything anyways thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and put that in the comment section your thoughts your opinion all opinion are accepted if you pull them down respectfully and of course i put the stitches on i tag them on the description box so if you want to go check them out on tiktok that is their user username and a lot of people used to come for me and be like maria you don't post um people's um and you don't credit the creator and everything it's not like i don't want to credit them but i don't want the fact that if you disagree with what somebody is saying you will now go to their page and start you know bashing them i think that that's what i'm trying to avoid so once once i'll be posting the stitches and everything they are andrew so you can go check them out but not every time okay if the one that is very toxic and a lot of disagreements i don't have to post it because i don't want you to come for my page and start bashing other people's page i don't want violence <laughs> you know this channel you can just everyone is entitled to their opinion so i feel like that's what i'm actually afraid of that's why i don't really post people um and do like that okay anyways we're changing you know 2024 we're changing i'm working on it okay and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified anytime i upload interesting video like this one and i'll see you all in my next one <laughs> bye